Hi, what is up guys, Dumbbell7 here, and welcome back to another episode of the Advancement Adventure, where in this series, I go on the quest to collect every single advancement in the game. It is currently the 8th of June, and 1.19 has been released for Minecraft, which alongside with all the new things it's brought, and techniques and bugs and whatever, it's also brought some new advancements as well, like this one, Bucket Bucket. Catch a tadpole in a bucket. If you missed out on the last episode, we created, or at least started, the, well, structure base for the Advancement Archive. And in today's episode, we are going to do something a bit different off, t off topic from this, well, structure. In today's episode, we are going to be doing a Advancement run. We are going to be going to town on getting advancements. By the end of the episode, I'm planning to get at least four or five advancements. And to start off with, I feel like we should go for a villager one. We can get two village ones right here. We can trade with villager and get what a deal and we can also summon a an angolum to get hired help. I also might try and get bullseye as well which is hitting the target from 30 meters away. So that's about to stop wasting time and get right into the business of well what we're doing. I don't think I... Uh, no I do have emeralds actually. I'll take emeralds with me just to be sure of what I'm gonna be doing at the village because there's a villager nearby I think. I should also get rid of this bad omen effect just so I don't scare the villagers to hell with my scary um I don't know, ability. But to do that, I need to find a cow, so I'll be back with you guys once I find a cow. Alright, I'm back, and I have a milk bucket to drink to get rid of said effect. Perfect. And now we shall sleep and go to the village once morning has dawned. And here we are, we're at the village. I had to actually take my light drop because I was gonna be, I was constantly like miss flying, like miss like doing stuff like this and jumping a bit too low to the ground, so I didn't want to dab break it. Hello, so farmsman, let's see what you have. Carrots and potatoes. I don't exactly have anything on me right now. Emeralds for a lead tunic, leather for a thing. Oh, here we go. Some pants and tunic. I think I'll go for the one that has the leather and I'll just see if I can find some cows. It's got to be cows around the area where I can just destroy them. Okay, I know this is what you guys did not have in mind, but I'm on a bit of a time crunch and I don't want to wait to find cows, so... Hello, sir dealsman. I have come bearing a gift for you. Bam. What a deal. Now, I didn't actually bring any iron, so I'm going to have to run back and get more iron to actually create a golem. Alright, and we're back. As you can see, I've collected the necessary resources in my hotbar. And now, we are going to go ahead and get hired helper by summoning an iron golem. I don't know if it has to be when you're defending a village from a horde, or like a raid or something, but we will find out. Hey, hired helper, there we go. Now, I said before we were going to try and get, where is it, bullseye if we could, have a target block from at least 30 meters away, and I figure we should do something like this. Should have probably crafted the target block before I came down here, but I believe there's a crafting table around here. If not, I'll just nick a bit of a log from the thing. Is there one in here? No. Nope. If I can get in, that'd be good. All right, give me your wood. <laughs> Bada boom. Bam, craft table. Let's craft the target block. Bam. Now we're gonna set up the target range, which is going to be the course of action. So we're gonna place you down here, and for this test, I'm actually gonna be using... I would use a door, actually. I mean, there's a trap... No, there's trap around there. I don't even have to use a door. I was gonna do... I was gonna meme and use a door, but I don't have to. So we place this down, get some redstone dust, and then we line this up. Now, I don't exactly know how far back I need to be, but I'm gonna go until I feel like it's good. Alright. This seems to be good. Now we gotta run back and put an arrow on the thing. Okay, that's that in place. Let's go activate the system and hopefully it'll be right. Fingers crossed it's gonna work. I would zoom in to show you guys a vlog, but I probably will do so in editing. Let's do this. Bam! Bullseye! Hit a target block from 30 meters away. We did it! Clear as day. There's the bullseye. And now you can disassemble this whole thing and take it back to base. E <laughs> Not my intention to do that, but okay. Alright, we're making good time. Three advancements done in about 35 minutes, just over 35 minutes. Question is, what will be next on the list? Well, since it's night time, I figure that we should get this one right here. Sniper duel. Kill a skeleton from at least 50 meters away. I have a bow, and I have some arrows in my inventory. So let's see if I can kill a skeleton with him. Could I use the same technique? This is not enough, but I might be able to extend it. But there's no fun in that. Let's see if we can do a bit of a challenge. Let's go up here and a little peek. I would use Optifine to make it easier to shoot, but I don't 
think that is going to be the luxurious case. If I remember correctly, each chunk is 16 blocks long, so he's about a chunk and a half away. That would be at 20 blocks. I cannot tell if there's sheep or skeletons. You're a skeleton, but you're not nearly far enough. Hey, there we go, sniper duel! So that was about 50 blocks there. From where he was standing to the back of that roof, that is 50 blocks. So right here, this is effectively where he was standing. That, that doesn't seem like 50 blocks. I mean, right here, he's standing halfway. He's standing like four blocks into a chunk, so four, 20. Yeah, that's about, that's about 52 blocks, I think. Okay, and that makes four advancements that we've done so far. We have taken care of, what a deal, hired helper, target, or sorry, bullseye, and sniper duel. Let's take a situation, jump into a honey block to break your fall. Let's do that one. I've got enough honey at my base, so we can actually do that one effectively right now. And I've got one more honey bottle that I need to fill up. But outside of that, it is basically, well, done. And I know exactly where to get a beehive. Oh yes, bee. Oh Jesus. Oh, ah, I forgot about this. Can I just say how close the, this beehive was to my base. I was running around for a full like five, ten minutes trying to find be um, a beehive, and literally, it's just over there beyond the spruce forest. This just goes to show: never judge a book by its cover. Because I immediately thought that there was nothing going to be, there was going to be nothing with beyond. Can you not? That there was going to be nothing within or beyond said spruce forest. But nope, there was a flower field that had what I needed, which was honey. This video is not sponsored though, so the same. Let's get this advancement. Sticky situation. Well, let's actually just get a comp. Do you know what? I'm gonna make a composter for the sake of getting rid of my subs. I don't have any wood. I'm gonna chop down one of the trees because I'm about walking all the way over to my storage unit. And also, I should probably mention this while I'm around trees, but with the new 1.19 update, leaves can be waterlogged, which probably could be a bit of a problem for some things. Can you guys not? Now, at first, this doesn't seem like a bad idea because you're like, oh, you can boil up leaves. That's not that bad. However, think of it this way. If you go to MLG onto leaves, you can't. So it's physically impossible now to MLG in 1.19 with a water bucket onto leaves specific specifically. We're gonna get some slabs like so and craft a composter. Plops down and now we have a use for all these seeds. We need to get the speed clicks out in here with all this. Honestly, I should install an auto clicker for something like this because ah! it'll be extremely useful for taking care of all kinds of things. Yeah, you know, why are there so many freaking zombies? There's like been like 12 zombies in this one night. What the hell's going on? Now what other advancements can we do for this? Well, at least this section right here, I would say, I would say going to other categories, essentially. Trade with a villager at the height. What? What? I'm sorry. Trade with a villager at the height limit. Okay, <laughs> I guess we'll do, I guess we'll figure out what we're doing now. The question is, do I do it by boat or by elevator? Or sorry, by minecart. I mean, I do have a mad stash of dirt, and I technically could get a villager into a minecart and just pillar up. And I've got a lot of iron. Do you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. I don't want to use a lot of my powered rails or just gold in general, but I might have to. Even if it means I have to move the villager up in segments, like I have to build one section of stair, then delete that, then move, build another section of stair, and so on and so forth, then I'll do it. Villagers, get ready for your maiden voyage to the moon, because I'm taking you up to the stars. All right, this is going to be a big process to get up, but... I think we're fine. We're starting at Y69 and we're just gonna be going upwards. I'll see you guys once I am done with said stairs, in this case. That's it. We are officially at the build limit and I've used up all the dirt. Eight stacks of dirt this took to get up to the build limit. So let's just jump down and I'll show you guys, well, the whole thing, as you can probably see, it's pretty crazy. So as you can probably tell, this is massive. Now I'm gonna grab a few more things before we start setting villagers or a villager up there. Namely more dirt and firework rockets to just, to just move around the place. All right, I'm back with a few more things to assist in the process of transporting villagers. I need more blocks, more rails, and some firework rockets just to move around the place. Alright, I'm gonna need one of you guys to come out of the house, please. Hello, excuse me. Could you please come out of the house? I need you. No. There we go. Now, I don't know how far you'll get sent from this. Okay, you guys sent pretty far, actually. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five. You guys sent five blocks, so on the fifth one, I'm gonna... Add new rails. And so begins the long journey of trying to get this guy up the staircase. Come on up, bro. Yeah, I told you it wasn't still there. Is it him? 
I think he's gone all the way up. There's only one sure way to find out, and that's to go up to the top and see if he is there, or he's somehow suffocated. Hey, Liv, there we go. You don't have a roll right now, so I'm going to have to go back down to the bottom, grab a thing to give you a roll, and then trade with you. I don't even know what you're going to have, so I'm going to have to do two different trips. Okay. Woo! Jeez. My Elytra just broke. I only had two durability left, and I just put it on to save myself. Boost myself with a rocket, and then MLG to cancel the fall. Alright, let's grab this, and go ahead and bring it up to the top. Alright, we finally reached the top again, and I've got something to give you a roll. Please accept this. I didn't. I came all the way this up bearing a gift, so please take it for the sake of me. Yes! Okay, wheat and carrots. I can easily get wheat down to the village or back in the base. I need to go back down again. Yeah. I'll be back. Okay, newsflash. I managed to get the advancement for trading with our friend. And unfortunately, he died in the process of falling down, well, off the tower. And if you don't believe me, right there in chat, it says it right there. Star Trader. Trade with a villager at the build height limit. Mora Moth here decided to do something very stupid and not unpause the footage after pausing the bit footage to save storage. But all you need to know is I got the advancement along with quite a few other things. We got What a Deal, Hired Help, Bullseye, Sniper Duel, Sticky Situation, and Star Trader. Six advancements. I think it's actually the most that we've hit so far in the series, which is crazy. But anyways guys, that's gonna do it for today's video on the Advancement Adventure Episode 11. We're getting to double digits now, and we got quite a few advancements today, like I just said. If you guys like today's episode, then why not subscribe and turn notifications, because you will not want to miss more stuff when it comes out, along with my Splatoon and Smash Bros stuff that I'm doing every so often. I also have a Twitch and Discord, which you can check out in the description below, or do whatever really. But anyways guys, thank you for watching today's video, and as always, I will see you all in the next episode. Bye bye! I'm also gonna grab the experience as well. Experience! I just fell into the death hole. Experience!